just going back to the, the hypothesis of, of the keynote speaker about thinking about what's um, special about the United Kingdom, if we follow that thesis through, which I think is a very interesting point, and although the whole conference is about investing in technology, thinking about that proposition as investors, shouldn't we actually perhaps be thinking about biotechnology, uh, medical tech, and for example, really high value precision manufacturing or engineering, rather than uh, technology and internet? Time will. <laughs> uh, I, I know absolutely nothing about uh, biotech or silicon, but I can see that argument. I do, I do know a little bit about ARM, and I respect ARM enormously. I mean, ARM, is, as uh, Paul said, is very absolutely terrific um, example of a UK success story. But in financial terms, I'm afraid ARM is tiny. And relative to Intel, it is tiny. And you, I think you can argue that Arm sat there and said, "Are we ever going to be masters? Are we ever going to be able to beat the Californians making chips?" Mm, no. Uh, and they didn't try that. They were at, were outmaneuvered them really by trying to design chips better. And actually, that's been very clever and effective. And probably we haven't seen even the end of that story yet with the move towards smartphones, which plays to Arm's advantages. Um, but um, I'm afraid as to you know how one does more of that. Uh, not understanding, I, I'm not saying I'm isn't a success as it is, but in financial in financial terms and P&L terms, it's still really small. And if that's um, you know I, I, if Intel turns all of its guns onto ARM or Qualcomm or Nvidia or any of the any of those leaders in the U.S., then you know it's going to have to uh, it's going to have to watch pretty smartly and look what's happened to the Canadians who thought they had the run on the Americans. Uh, uh, Nortel and RIM and stuff, you know, it's, it's, it's hard. So I'm afraid I, I don't have a better answer than that, but I, 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 pharmaceuticals absolutely is one of the UK's competitive strengths. Um, should, how does one invest in pharmaceuticals gulp? I mean, you know, there are, there are biotech um, funds, um, but it is such a specialist area. And there is, you know, there are quite a lot of venture funds that do focus and specialise in biotech. But uh, was it somebody said you're either earning or you're learning? And uh, you know, so you've got to know you've got to know what you're doing. Yeah. yeah. I mean, maybe just offer a, a slight perspective. I think it is very important to play to your uh, natural strengths and your competitive advantage. And actually, uh, that may be one of them. I'm I'm not very familiar with it, but if you think about the UK, you mentioned financial services. I think we have excellent uh, world class financial services. Um, Mrs. Thatcher said that we were a nation of shopkeepers and actually I don't think we're too bad at retail and I think that there's plenty of opportunities there. But whatever you're going to do, I think you've got to keep it very simple. And some of you, uh, if you're as old as me, may remember an advert um, where you had two guys run out, one gets uh, onto his bike and he jumps and he jumps and it tries to start it, nothing happens, some guy comes out, uh, he's got a Japanese bike, turns it on and drives away. Um, I think that Google, if you look at the, how clean and simple that site is, if you look at the Apple technology, um, to be honest, if you look at Amazon, a big competitor of ours from eBay, if you solve uh, consumer problems and make it very easy for them, I think you have a tremendous value proposition and maybe that applies to the industries you're talking about as well.